In the emergency department at MLK Community Hospital, masked patients lay in wheeled stretchers lining the hallways. Others slumped in chairs where nurses attended to them. Amid the crush of people on a recent day in December, only the sickest or most severely injured got one of the 29 rooms. The rise of flu, RSV, COVID and other winter viruses has exacerbated overcrowding that existed even before the pandemic, hospital officials said, the result of stark shortages in medical care in a low-income South Los Angeles neighborhood where most residents are black or Latino. Patients come to MLK's emergency department with minor ailments they haven't been able to get treated elsewhere, or more serious conditions that have become dire in the absence of care to prevent or manage them, said Dr. Elaine Batchelor, chief executive of MLK Community Healthcare. When it opened seven and a half years ago, MLK's emergency department was expected to handle 110 patients a day, or roughly 40. O -O -O patients annually. Last year, more than 400 patients arrived on especially hectic days, for an annual total of more than 112 o -O -O patients. Earlier in the pandemic, the crowds at the emergency department had dissipated as some people stayed away. But now, as fears of catching COVID have lessened, the number of people seeking care at the emergency department has surged again, exceeding pre-pandemic levels, Batchelor said. As Batchelor walked through the emergency department, she gestured to an area full of chairs and cubicles. This used to be the waiting room, but it is completely converted into treatment space, she said. In all, MLK has carved out more than 200 areas for patients to be treated, including the 29 traditional rooms and an unconventional range of spots and chairs, gurneys and under tents. Beds occupy what was once the gift shop. Ambulance bays hold tents for assessing and treating patients. We kind of put patients everywhere we could, Batchelor said. Nurses try to keep their voices low when speaking to patients seated between dividers in an effort to respect privacy, competing with the sounds of crying children and coughing. In a period of less than three weeks this winter, the hospital asked 101 times to divert emergency vehicles to other medical facilities because it was full, according to Gwen Driscoll, Vice President of Strategic Communications at MLK Community Healthcare. Many patients have chronic illnesses, such as diabetes and heart disease, that could be managed at a doctor's office, but there aren't enough doctors and there isn't enough access in the community, Batchelor said.